วัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I am making a new and improved video for lap. And lap is a very well-known northeastern dish that's basically a salad made up of ground meat and lots of fresh herbs. It's really refreshing, perfect for the summer. Now, last time when I made this years ago, I used pork. But today I'm going to show you how to make it with chicken because I've got lots of people asking me, "Hey, I want to make lap chicken. Is there anything I need to know? Are there any tricks?" So we're going to tackle all of that today. Let's get started. So the heart of lap is toasted rice powder, or what we call kau kua. Now kau is rice, and kua means to sort of dry toast something in a pan, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So what I've got here is some sticky rice, okay, raw, uncooked sticky rice. If you don't have sticky rice, you can also just do this with jasmine rice. It'll work just as well. But this is sort of traditional because sticky rice is the main rice eaten in the northeast. And now, what I'm going to do differently this time is instead of toasting the rice naked, I'm going to also throw in a kaffir lime leaf. For this amount, just one is okay. Some people also add pieces of lemongrass or galangal and allow it to toast with the rice. Now, you want to make sure you stir this all the time so the toasting is even. Okay, and it's going to smoke a lot. Don't worry, it's normal. And that looks good. I'm going to turn that off. So you want the color to be a nice deep brown, not light golden brown. Okay, you want some color on it because that's how you're gonna get a nice toasty, nutty aroma added to the salad. I'm gonna transfer this into my mortar and pestle, or you can use a coffee grinder if you want. You can also ooh see how crispy that leaf is, and you can actually grind that up together. Mm -mm -mm. So good. If you're using a coffee grinder, just be careful you don't over grind it until it's a complete powder. You still want a little bit of a grittiness to it. Mmm, this stuff is so magical. All right, there's that. So just one little thing before we get cooking is the chili flakes. Now this is actually really important. Lab never uses fresh chilies. Always dry like these, and always roasted or toasted. So these are not toasted. You see, they're bright and red. All I do is I roast this in the oven for a few minutes. I'll include all the specifics in the written recipe, and I also throw in a lime leaf in the oven too when I roast it, just like the toasted rice powder. And then I grind it up in a coffee grinder or a mortar and pestle, and it. Gives me really nice and a little bit smoky with that citrusy flavor from the lime leaves. That is good chili flakes. All right, time to grind our chicken now. I don't like to use commercially ground chicken for this. You can, but I find that they grind it too fine, and a lot of times it's way too lean. So what I like to do is I've got 50% chicken thigh, and I include the fat because that's going to help sort of make it a little juicy because we're not adding any added oil or anything at all. And then the other half is chicken breast, and I think that's the nice combination between. Fattiness and flavor, and also the tenderness from the chicken breast. So I'm gonna grind this using a cleaver, which is something every household in Thailand does. It's very common. I grew up doing this ever since I was like a tiny, tiny little kid. And you just chop, chop, chop. So after you first go at it, what I like to do is just flip it, because a lot of times your knife doesn't cut all the way through. So if you flip it and cut it from the other side, you sort of. You know, you get it. You get everything, and then you can change the knife angle this way. All right, so we're good to go. So this is actually a one-pot dish. We're gonna cook the chicken in here, and then this becomes essentially the salad bowl, which is what I love. Just a couple tablespoons of water here. If you've got some unsalted chicken stock, go ahead and use that. It's better. So the technique we're using here is there's a special word for that in Thai, and it's called ruan. And ruan just means cooking something just in a pan with a little bit of oil or water like this until it's done. And the water is really just there to lubricate the pan. I'm gonna add the chicken and ruan it. And so what I'm gonna do, which is just my trick, not everyone does this. I'm gonna add just a little bit of fish sauce to the chicken right now, and it's just to season it. You know, you want to season it during and after so that the the flavor isn't just on the outside and the dressing, but also inside the meat. 
keep stirring it. You want to keep stirring it because you don't want it to clump up together in a big chunk. And also note that I am using a large-ish pan. If I crowd a small pot, it's going to trap a lot of water inside and then you'll end up with too much liquid. But if you use a large pan, the water can evaporate and you don't end up diluting your dressing. Okay, that's it. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so now, while this is still quite hot, I'm gonna add shallots, thinly sliced shallots, and the heat of the chicken is going to help wilt the shallot. And now I'm gonna go in with the seasoning. So fish sauce and lime juice, and that's it. Fish sauce and lime juice, no sugar whatsoever in lab. That's why you really need to have the toasted rice powder because the toasted rice, sort of the nuttiness of that will balance the sharp acidity and the saltiness of the lime juice and the fish sauce. If you don't have that, it's really a little bit abrasive. My toasted rice powder, but I will tell you one thing, don't add this if you're not planning to serve this right away because that toasted rice will sort of absorb all the liquid and just sort of swell up. But I'm gonna eat this right away so I can just go ahead and put it in. And I like a lot. You can put as much or as little as you like, but I like a lot. Mmm. Oh, as soon as you add that, it smells like lap, like instantly. Okay. Now, some chili flakes. This tends to be a spicy dish, so don't be shy. Oh, I'm salivating. So now we're gonna add the delicate herbs, okay? And the delicate herbs, you wanna add later at the end because now it's not as hot. So I'm gonna go in with the green onions. Now, this is sawtooth coriander. Now, sawtooth coriander is an iconic herb to add to lab. It's sort of, the flavor is sort of a cross between mint and cilantro. It's really unique. However, it's not always easy to find. Vietnamese stores will have it. So if you've got a Vietnamese grocery store nearby, check them out. If you don't have it, cilantro will work. You can do both cilantro and sawtooth coriander if you'd like, or one or the other. A lot of times people will serve this on the side so you can sort of munch on it as you're eating lap as well. Okay, if this is your first time making it, make sure you give it a taste. Okay, I've made this recipe so many times, I know this is gonna be good. All right, so I've got some fresh vegetables. We always serve lap with lots of fresh veggies because this is really meat heavy, right, as you can see. And it's also really strong flavor. So the vegetables help mellow it out in addition to giving some freshness. I know what you're thinking. Some of you are thinking, but Pailin, where's the mint? The mint is like the most important thing in here. Well, I discovered that it's better, especially if you're not gonna eat it right away, to put the mint on the outside because mint turns black really quickly when it's exposed to heat. So if you put it on the outside, it'll look nicer. And then when you go to eat it, you just mix it in as you eat it. What's a classic garnish is we put a couple of dry chilies on top. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some crunchiness to it and that is crispy chicken skin. So I have a video on how to make your own crispy chicken skin. I actually came up with the, with the method and basically I used the skin from the chicken that I use for the lap. So I'm just gonna add a couple of pieces on top. It's just extra crispy chickenness. So you gotta have sticky rice with this, okay? I've got some ready to go in the bag which I'll reheat and eat after we're done here but it goes really well with lap. Now, the way I like to eat it is sort of as a lettuce wrap type thing, and I actually really like having it with this Belgian endive or endive, however you like to call it. It's like this nature's perfect spoon. You don't even have to do anything to it. It's just this perfect little cup. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It is the most refreshing, bright, zingy chicken salad you will ever have. Oh, there's, everything is in such good balance too. Saltiness of the fish sauce and tart lime juice. And even though we didn't add any sugar, just sort of the natural sweetness of the chicken and the toastiness of the toasted rice powder just brings everything to a really, really yummy place. And vegetables, really, really important in this. Oh, this is so good. I can just keep going. But anyway, I gotta get my sticky rice heated up so I can properly sit down and devour this thing. So the recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to the show, do so right here so you never miss an awesome recipe like this. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.